Lorna Ruto is one businesswoman who doesn't mind getting her hands dirty, in an eco-friendly manner that is. About a year ago, she decided to break away from her comfortable bank job to pursue her lifelong dream, to create a sustainable green business that recycles and manages plastic waste in Kenya. From mountains of useless plastic waste, EcoPost transforms this waste into aesthetic, durable posts that replace timber. This deals with the issue of not only waste management in Kenya, but also tackles the growing problem of deforestation. The risk has paid off for Lorna in green dividends. She was recently selected as a laureate for Sub-Saharan Africa in the Cartier Women's Initiative Award and also won the Green and Ecology Award in the Enablers Business Plan competition. The EcoPost brand of posts is rapidly becoming a suitable replacement for timber in Kenya and is being used for fencing on farms, around homes, national parks and commercial premises. Lorna, what gave birth to EcoPost? The problem is very serious. Like every single day there is over 10,000 plus uh, of, uh, metric tons of waste that is generated into the city, into the country. And uh, in Nairobi city alone, there's 2,800 metric tons generated every day. And then 20% of this is normally plastic. This waste is normally thrown everywhere, littering the streets, clogging sewers, encroaching people's homes. Um, the situation is so bad and uh, I don't see any much um, efforts from the policy makers and even the government to clean, clean up this uh, menace that goes everywhere into the environment. So there is a serious need for us to look for a better way of disposing of this uh, plastic sustainably and that's how we came up with manufacturing of our plastic posts. In terms of the manufacturing process, what is involved? We have collection yards set up all over around the country where we normally go and collect our plastic waste. Then we transport them to the uh, factory for processing. From here we have uh, se several women who normally prepare the material, uh, removing uh, items like bones, stones and metal that we don't need for the production. Then we shred the plastics into small pieces, around 5 millimeters in, di in uh, diameter. And for the flimsy plastics, those are the uh, supermarket paper bags, uh, we use a machine called an agglomerator that uh, m uh, f makes them into, uh, into round balls. Um, and then uh, the, sh the big plastics, they are shredded into small pieces. Then we mix them at a certain ratio of around 60 to 40. And then um, from there, we use a machine called an extruder. The extruder is the machine, uh, normally we purchase the extruder from companies uh, that are even do maybe food processing and then we refurbish the front part. The extra, then we pour the material in the hopper, which is pushed into a heated barrel at temperatures of around 250 degrees centigrade. Uh, the plastic is made molten and then it's pushed into a mold and then from the mold um, uh, it's removed and put into a water bath and then it cools down and from there we get our very aesthetic durable poles. From the time that you started to where you are now, what has some of the challenges been in terms of setting up EcoPost? Uh, we used to, I used to face so many huge challenges like uh, our machines will be locked inside because due to lack of rent. Um, they, they even, and then the, the policy makers are, it's actually very difficult for, uh, to gain capital access from maybe even banks, especially as a startup. So it was very difficult for, um, for me to acquire the capital I needed to take this business to the level I needed it to be. And um, so uh, those are some of the other challenges, and especially as a woman also, because the average entrepreneur in this industry is um, normally male. So I'm normally more scrutinized and uh, maybe criticized, and people wonder, what are you doing in this? Or why did you leave your job that was paying well? Are you sure you're not mad? Those kind of ones. <laughs> yes, uh, but somehow we, I overcame and uh, uh, glad we're still going strong. Rosemary Awor is a mother of five and is one of hundreds of women in Kenya employed at EcoPost. She is very grateful for her job, which involves sorting the plastic waste before it is processed and believes that her life has now changed for the better. Yes, my, last, my life has, has changed a lot. 
because my children are able to go to school, we eat well, and we pay our rent in time, so I'm very happy. At the moment, I, I, we have over 20, uh, 20 people who are directly employed with us, and uh, over 300 people were indirectly employed. These are from the people, especially youths and women who are marginalized, the ones who normally collect for us the plastics, the ones who sort and clean, and then even transporting and bringing it here. Uh, these people normally have collection yards from where this material is normally, uh, normally uh, picked and uh, sorted out, then sold, sell to us. Uh, by so doing, we're able to create for them an income, and then they're able to even have better lifestyles and nutrition and even take their children to local schools. Lorna's vision is not only to create much-needed jobs in Kenya, but to conserve and protect one of the country's most valuable assets, its forests. Our forests are in serious decline. This is because there is so much huge demand for timber, for building and construction. So they, it's inevitable, as compared to 1980, when we had over 10% forest cover, our forests are, are declining at a very uh, uh, huge uh, in speed. And uh, we are going to lose all our forests if we don't do something about it. So our posts are actually providing a suitable alternative. And it's by so doing, we're able to protect our forests, which act as carbon sink. And that, that means uh, we reduce the carbon dioxide emission into the environment. And also by pro protecting our forests, that means we are protecting our water catchment areas and um, also uh, conserving uh, the environment for our wildlife to live in. So far, I can say every day we do 150 posts. That means we are conserving six trees. And uh, for, uh, six, for the six trees, we use 1,000 kilograms of plastic waste that we get from the environment. I can, clear, I can now say for sure we've saved around 250 acres of our forest and we intend to even save much, much more.